Hello and good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's doing good today on this Friday morning. It's raining here in New York, but uh, it's a good day. It's a good day. Fridays are always a good day. So hop on, say hi. I hope today is finding everyone well. I don't know why I need to put my glasses on just to talk. <laughs> So hop on, say hi, rosewardstampersdelight.com, and thank you so much for joining me. I have a couple of things to go over, and then we're going to get stamping. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I want to remind everybody is that the uh, Ornate Garden Suite is now available. This is also the online class that Donna Gray and I are hosting this month. So with this one, um, there are three, normally there's three levels where you buy level one, level two, or just the video. This month we are doing a level four, which is you buy the whole suite and you will get both kits. So if you order the Ornate Thanks bundle, you get six cards to do, three, uh, three cards, two of each. If you order the ornate style, the same thing, you get six cards to do, plus uh, depending on the level, if you buy level one, you get the, the stamp set, the dies, and everything else in level one. If you buy level two, there's no dies, but the, the uh, die will be cut out for you. If you buy the whole suite, you get all 12 cards plus uh, the whole suite, so it's a great deal. Don't forget, um, if you're looking to find that, just go to my Facebook page, scroll down. You can click on the um, link, and it'll take you right to the card, uh, the class. I'm not sure why I'm not getting any comments yet. Oh, there we go. Um, just to let you know, good morning, Jean. Good morning, Meg. Just to let you know, I believe that in the U.S., the... Um, let me just see which one. The ornate border dies are back ordered. If anything goes back ordered, what that means is you will get it eventually. But there's no worries for your class yet because we send you everything. So if you order the um, whole suite and you don't get the um, ornate borders, you can still do the cards because we will have cut them out for you. And eventually when they get stocked in again, um, you will get your dies from Stampin' Up. Again, we all have to be patient at this time. Things are going to go back order, probably more than normal. They Orders may take a little longer to get, but just know that Stampin' Up is working. They have taken a lot of precautions to keep their family and workers safe. So please be patient. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Donna. You should be sleeping. <laughs> I think it's probably about, what, 3 o'clock in the morning? Saturday over in uh, Australia. Oh, Karen, you're from England, so you should be sleeping too, right? But I'm glad you're not. Okay, so that's Donna Gray and myself's um, online class for this month. Also, I'm going to flip the camera. I want to remind you that I have a mini retreat going on right now, and that involves you getting these, this bundle. You will get a goodie bag, swag bag, with this bundle, and you will get six projects to do plus an exclusive video from me. I will send you the link. This I can only do this for the United States, sorry. Um, and there's more information on that. But contact me. The first uh, order is going in this weekend. So the first uh, list of people will have their kits probably within 10 days. Okay. So that is my mini online retreat. The cost of that is $50 US. You can't buy it through Stampin' Up. You have to go through me. So just contact me if you're interested in that. I have several people already signed up. Okay, so that's it for the announcements. Again, stampersdelight.com. And here is my monthly host code, Rose Ward. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to just have a sip of my coffee first, and hopefully you don't hear that. Okay, so because I had to um, cancel my classes for April, one of the things we were going to do was play bingo. 
I was going to do a bingo party. And the stamp set we were going to use was the witticisms, or witticisms, however you want to say it. This is a cute set. I love it. It's got a lot of different sayings on it. This is actually a great set for a beginner stamper because you get a lot of different um, images that you can use for birthdays, babies. Um, so let me get started. And I also have a cute little technique I'm going to be using, which I used to do a long time ago. And I'm bringing it back because I haven't done it in years. Okay, hi Doreen, Dor <laughs> Matt, Doreen, hi Camilla, hi Stacy. I'm so glad you all joined me, and I hope you're all staying safe. Okay, so with that, let's just leave that here for a minute. Here's one of the cards I did, and this, of course, is the welcome little one. And also, what I used for this one, and I'll show you, this says welcome little one, which is right there, and on the inside it says hello baby. And that's from the So Sentimental set. See, there's the Hello Baby and the little, little stamp there. And if you get nothing else out of the mini catalog, you want to do yourself a favor and get these dies. You can see these are the dies that I layered right here, the scalloped edges. But these dies are to die for. Okay, so it's the So Sentimental bundle that's in the mini catalog. So I'll be using that, or you'll be seeing that. Okay, so again, here is, and this paper is in the annual catalog. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Linda. So that's the first card. Now, the next card I want to show you. Oh, can I back up for one minute because I don't want to forget this. Okay, I want to show you a gorgeous card that I got in the mail from Gail. And this is just a, uh, not just a, this is with the Ornate Garden. Isn't that beautiful? So thank you for that, Gail. And then this was from Cheryl, and Cheryl does that, can you see it, that stitching? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? So thank you so much, Cheryl. And again, if you'd like a card from me, just email me your information. My email will be in the description here. Um, as you can see, let me just show you. These are going out in the mail today. I know I kind of switched gears, but these are going out in the mail today. These are mostly for my coworkers, but I've been mailing cards to everybody. So just email me your address if you're overseas. Just know that I won't be doing that until I can get to the post office. I don't want to go to the post office or send my husband there unless we absolutely have to at this time. Okay, back to back to witticisms. Okay, so here's the first card. Okay, so let me show you two more cards I did with it and my technique. This is, of course, a graduation card. And that's, you did it, and, and I use the um, Parisian set for this, Follow Your Heart, It Will Take You to Incredible Places, because I thought that was great for a graduation card. And this, of course, is a leftover piece from my paper pumpkin. But the background, <coughs> excuse me, the background is the rubber band technique. Now, you may or may not have heard of that, but I'm going to show you that. I think it gives it an awesome uh, background. So that's one of them. The next one I'm going to show you. Of course, these are all with the witticism. Here we go. This has two colors on it. That is the Smoky Slate and Blushing Bride. Relax and chill out. Isn't he cute? He is so cute. Look at him. And sending healing hugs. So again, this is the rubber band technique and the, depending on the way you do it every background's going to come out a little different <clears throat> and then and remember i'll have still shots on my blog which is st working stampersdelight.com it is working again thanks to Catherine. and here's one i did with the looking sharp and then i had this um well-dressed suite or stamp set. This is from Celebration. I know you can't get that anymore. But I thought it went so well with this. Had the hat hanging off the little, um, my son used to call that Gumby. He said it looked like Gumby. A cactus. We used to go down to, um, down south, south of the border. And every time we'd get there, he'd see these cactuses and he would start yelling Gumby. <laughs> but anyway, looking sharp. And again, you see the two colors back here. 
And every time I see that well-dressed or looking sharp, I, I think of the ZZ Top songs, Sharp Dressed Man. <laughs> Anybody else? got? You're going to have that in your head now, if you know the song. Okay. And then here's the inside, and I made that a birthday card. So that's the other one. Okay. So another one that I did, and I'll be showing you how to do this one in different colors, is a middle fold card. And you can see I got the red and the yellow. And that's thank you very much. Today you get it in writing. Okay, and I don't have the stamp set that I used that with, but okay, I'll put it on the description. So we'll be showing you that. This one doesn't use the uh, rubber band technique, but I thought it was a, gr a cute card. I got the original idea, I cased it from Patty Bennett, but I changed mine a little bit. So here you go. Talk about awesome. And there's my little taco. And I'll be showing you how to make that little taco. And my, one of the things I changed, if you've seen some other um, <clears throat> tacos done, is I put a little white back here using this label punch, which I think is the story label punch, because it looks like sour cream. And I have to have a taco supreme i have to have <laughs> sour cream on my taco okay so those are my samples so let's get let's get stamping okay so i'm going to bring in this card i'm going to bring in some pieces here and hopefully i have everything i need here yeah i do okay so the first thing i want to show you is how you do this you're just going to take one of your blocks and you're just going to wrap rubber bands around it this is the rubber band technique and you can have large and small any way you want if they move it doesn't matter because it's a different background so you're going to do something like that and you can use any size <laughs> nathan yes i love zz top still love zz top and that's how you get the background. Now, let me just show you on my blotter here. I'll bring in the blue since we're going to be using blueberry bushel, which remembers one of the outgoing colors. And you would just tap that in your ink pad. And you see what you get here? Or if you do the other side, you're going to get a totally different look. And that's all there is to it. And then, of course, you want to clean those. So I'm going to put that aside. So that's the rubber band technique. So let's get started with that. All right, so I'm going to bring in a piece of white cardstock. I'm using blueberry bushel this time. Now, for the middle fold card, what I do is I just fold it. If it's not quite perfect, it's all right. I had one of my customers call me and tell me that's one of the things they liked was the fact that you don't have to be perfect. And I, and I tell you that because you don't. It's not about being perfect. It's about sending a card and crafting. There you go. That's close enough. That's the middle. That's the middle fold. Okay, so we're going to put that aside. Here is my white piece. Now, here's the blocks I've been using, and I'm just going to go with those. You see I have two different sizes. So I'm going to bring in my Daffodil Delight also. And I'm just going to take my Blueberry Bushel. I'm inking that up so you can see. Just inking one side of it up. And you can use a mat if you want, but it really doesn't matter because you're just going, you want all different. And you don't even have to ink it up every time. There we go. So we're going to put that over there. Now I'm going to bring in my other longer one that I did. And I'm going to go across this way. And you can do it any way you want. Is that cool or what? There you go. That's the background. Now I'm going to close this up so I don't get my hands in it. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And I'm going to use my little small one here. So it doesn't take up so much room. And I'm just going to cut this in half. So this is four inches, so I'm going to cut it at two inches. 
So this piece is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna bring back my base. And that's just gonna go right there. So let me get my snail. It's raining here, so I have to keep watching my green button, make sure I don't get knocked off. That tends to be when I get knocked off. And we're just going to lay this on here. So you still have a little bit of a border back there. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a great technique. Oh, you haven't, Jean? Definitely do this technique because it, it, it's so much fun. And you get such different backgrounds. Okay, so there is the card. That's a little crooked. Let me see. I have snail on here. So the one thing I do love about snail is I can move it. Of course, you can also do that with Tombow. I shouldn't say you can't. You can if you don't like the way it's on there. Okay, close enough. There. No, I don't like that either. <laughs> okay, with the light glaring in my eyes here, my projection lights here I'm having a hard time seeing it okay let me open this one there we go probably would be easier if I did it this way oh yeah there we go all right third time's a charm there we go close enough okay so there's we have that okay now with my circle dies I already cut out this circle and somewhere over here are my circle dies, but the circle dies are in the annual catalog. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in, thank you very much, I'm going to bring in a piece of white cardstock. This is, um, I think, the third level. You, it's the two-inch one. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to bring in my Starburst Punch. Oh, new to you, Nathan? Good, good. Yes, definitely. I'd love to see what you create with it. You can do as many colors as you want. That's what's really cool, too. There's my bear. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to very gently color this with blends. Now, remember, I'm not using Momento, so I have to be very careful not to make this bleed. The trick is color it very fast. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to put some dark dots of the red in here. So I'm just coloring that. It's still green. That's good. Okay. I'm going to do the little topper here. I'm actually putting quite a bit of dark green on that because I want that really to stand out. There we go. I'm going to snail that right on top of my circle. I'm going to bring in some dimensionals, and you can see that I'm almost done with this. And I'm just going to put that right here so I only need one side I'm going to use the strip part of that always use everything up don't waste it here's Donna's favorite thing oh Megan you've never seen it either yay okay I'm going to bring in my um, inside. And, of course, this is a thank you card, so a lot of times I leave that blank. But let's see. <clears throat> I am going to bring in... I'm going to bring in... Thank you very much. Don't want that. Your friend... I'm going to use... Your friendship is a blessing. Okay. Let's pull that one out. I am going to put a saying in here. Let me grab one of my blocks. Okay. Let me go ahead. There we have that. 
And then I'm going to bring in these again very lightly. I don't want it real dark. Let's see. Let me just bring this one in. There we go. Just for a little effect there. So it matches the outside. I'm going to go ahead and lay that right in here. And there you have it. Whoop. There is how you do the rubber band technique. Okay, so let's do another one. And this time I'm going to show you how to make that cute little taco, okay? All right. So this is going to be a little bit different. Here, let me show you. You see that this is the stamp back here done in Versamark on top of the um, colored card stock, and it just gives it a watermark effect. Okay, we're going to change it up a little bit so I can show you how to do this. I'm going to bring in a piece of granny apple green, nice and bright. See how this one comes out. This one, of course, is going the opposite way, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and bring in a piece of pineapple punch, which is also one of the ones that are going away. And let's see, where is my circle? Okay, this is the largest circle in the circle dies. That's how I made the taco. Um, the greeting is from So Sentimental, Jean. That's in the mini catalog, the bundle, the So Sentimental with the matching dies. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of roll this. I don't really want to get a roll this so I get like a little taco. <laughs> okay. So for the inside, I am going to take, and where is my punch that I'm supposed to be using here? All right, let me grab it. I left it on the other table. My sprig punch. Which is missing. Well, isn't that something? It's got to be on this table. I'm just not sure where. I thought I brought all the punches over. Oh, there it is. It was hiding. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my sprig punch. I'm going to punch out a bunch of sprigs. This is my taco sauce. Three should be enough. Then I'm going to bring in my guacamole. I'm going to do three of these. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to watch the replay. You'll see everything. Good morning, Valerie. And I got a big enough piece. I'll do four of these. So there's my guacamole. There's my taco sauce. And that's with the sprig punch that's in the... I think this is in the annual catalog. <laughs> Would help if I had that all. Then I'm going to take a piece of um, espresso, just whichever you have. Now, this one... I have this little tiny punch here, but you can use a circle punch too if you want. If you have a little tiny circle punch. All I'm doing, whoop, this is my hamburger meat or plant-based for vegetarians. I only need about four of those, maybe five. Okay, so there's my hamburger meat. And then I want some sour cream. Oh, it could be lettuce. It could be lettuce. Yeah. I, I was thinking guacamole. <laughs> you know what I want on my tacos. Okay. Lettuce and or guacamole. How's that? Got to have lettuce too. Thank you for reminding me, Fran. Okay. For this, I'm just going to use half that punch. There is my sour cream. I don't know how I forgot the lettuce. Okay. So here's my taco. And I'm just going to layer this. Okay, now these little guys right here, I'm just going to put, a, and you can use Tombow or whatever. I'm just going to put around the edges. Can you see that? So when it's closed, you don't see a lot of the hamburger meat, but you'll see some of it. Now this is just the way I'm doing it. There's other ways to do it, I'm sure. This is mine. It's my idea of the way I'm doing it. So if you do this, I'd love to see, uh, upload your photo of how you did your taco. I'd like to see that. 
Okay, I'm just going to put little meat here. And I may have to move those if they don't show up. Okay. So when I close this, you're just going to see a little bit of the brown. Okay. You had Taco Bell the other day? Ooh, I love Taco Bell. All right. So I'm snailing that down. All right. So let's put the lettuce lettuce on here. We'll call it lettuce for now. Well, I have four of them. So some of them lettuce and some of it's guac. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to run a little snail again on here. Now I'm going to put my taco sauce on here. I like hot sauce. Okay. So when you close it, it looks like this. Yeah, I have that. Two greens for the lettuce and one for guac. There you go. And then I have to have sour cream. And I am probably the worst, but the more sour cream, the better. And I'm just going to put that right there for now. There's my sour cream. And roll it just so you get the edge of the sour cream. Can you see it? Okay. It's all right if you get some um, creases in here because, let's face it, the taco never stays together. Okay. I might move the sour cream up just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to bring in my dimensionals, which i got to grab some more. All right. I have mini ones here, so I'll just grab the mini ones. I'll grab the outside. I'm going to grab this. I'm just going to cut a piece of this off because I want it a little bigger. I don't want to be playing around with a lot of those little ones. Okay. I'm going to put this right here because I don't want it totally squished down. There we go. There's my little... <laughs> you know it's for dinner. Kathy says she knows, knows what she's having for dinner. There's my taco. All right, so let's bring this back in. And now I'm going to do, um, let's see, is this one clean? Nope. Okay, I'm going to clean these off real quick because I want to do the background again, like um, the rubber band background. Okay, so I want to clean that one off because that's blue, and I don't want blue. So I'm going to bring in Granny Apple Green. Make sure that's cleaned off. I'm just going to do it over here. There we go. And use my rubber band technique. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in my real red this time. I'm going to have ink all over the place, but that's all right. Oh, you don't care for burritos? Hey, burritos work. Okay, and let's take in some of the red. Okay, just going to do that. <clears throat> this is going to be layered right on here. Oop, there's a little piece of lettuce or guacamole. <laughs> I don't know. I had guac on my mind. Okay, we're going to layer that right on here. And then I'm just going to take a piece of this because I have it right here. I want to use a little, this is just the background. So I'm going to go ahead and snip this off. So this needs to be just snipped off a little bit here so I can cut that. All right, let's do this at two inches. Just want a little border here. I'm just gonna cut that. In. I hope you signed up for the starter kit and got that cute little paper trimmer. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. Now I'm gonna bring in. Talk about you. Talk taco about you. Let's see. We got another piece right here. All right. I'm going to bring in my memento.
I'm going to bring in again that Starburst Punch, which I love. Oh, you're welcome, Angie. Anytime. And don't forget, I'll be back Sunday night at 7 o'clock. So here I'm going to bring in a few of my blends. I'm just going to use the dark red. And I'm just dotting some of that so it looks like the taco sauce. Here comes some lettuce. Um, let's see, I should have my, yep, crumb cake for the crumb cake. I, oh, that got all over there. Crumb cake, I'm using the light crumb cake. And I'm just going to fill him in here. All right, then I'm going to bring in another piece of my granny apple green. And I didn't cut out another circle, so I have an old circle punch. I'm going to just use that. Since we don't have this two and a half inch punch anymore, you would use your dies. That's what I used before. If you have the old two and a half inch punch, you can use that. I'm going to just layer that. Right there. I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to put that right there. So I am going to grab these little, I just have little dimensionals. So I'm going to open up a new pack, but they work. Hey, okay. you might just have to put a few extras on there. Okay. Because I have the minis. Stuck to my finger. Talk about awesome. Here's my little taco. He's going to go right there. Now, the one thing I would recommend with this... Oh, I just broke my nail. <laughs> Not that you needed to know that, but... Okay. I am going to bring in... Um, what I suggest on this is either Tombow or Tear Tape. Because the taco is a little heavy. So you definitely want something that's going to keep it on your card. So I'm going to use tear tape. Just one strip will work. Or you can use the Tombow. The snail isn't going to hold it as well. So there's the front of my card, my little taco guy. I'm going to bring in the inside and talk taco about awesome. <clears throat> We're going to grab a happy birthday. I think I'll do this in green, nice and bright. <clears throat> and then let me just bring in my rubber bands again. Maybe I'll do it up here too, just to make that <clears throat> background. And let's see, do I have green? Yeah, here's some green. Turn that around because I didn't ink the other side. There we go. There we go. And we got another birthday card. So there's our two taco cards. And again, I'll have still shots later on. little tacos you can make mini tacos too just use a real tiny tiny um circle punch and you can make some tacos like small tacos and have a whole taco card and here's our other one to thank you very much if you'd like one of these cards or any of my cards don't forget to leave me your address again if you're overseas please send me your address anyway as soon as i can i will send them i will send you a card <laughs> and i got little tacos up there okay looking sharp of course, graduation card. I think I'll send this to either my niece or nephew who one's graduating culinary school and my nephew is great nephew is going to um, graduate high school. Unfortunately, of course, they're not going to have their parties, but later on in the summer.
That's what we can hope for. And here's the other two cards. Relax and chill out and welcome little one. So I hope you enjoyed the cards. And leave me your comments. I will answer those later when I'm working. So thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, my friends. And I will see you back here Sunday night at 7 o'clock, okay? Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.